What's up, Crim Nation? This is your boy here, Talk Over to Mosley. Welcome back to Crim Reacts and Freshy Canal. Make your way back to the main stage, my friend. We got a very amazing rap battle for you guys right now. It's Patrick Bateman versus Sweeney Todd, featuring the Stipendium, Little Flex, and Becky Elise. You guys ready for this? Three, two, one. Let the rap battle begin. Let's go. You know these are always going to be good. Hey, you got the outfit down, Pat. There's an hole in a world and a fake bread pit. Putting holes in the girls, leave them slain and split. Cause there's holes in his brain that no payment can fix. And he goes by the name of Bayman. <laughs> this half of a broker couldn't sell his persona. Only see this bank of compensating when work's over. Uh. Turpin kept his bird caged insecure. Still, I've never had a tough so insecure. Mm. You and my razor are the same in effect. Except my blade is sharp when it's a pain in the neck. Oh, I'll wow. take it back at your mistake because you're making a mess. But I'm sure that reflection will get Master Bayman. <laughs> I got it. Canal tape, but this fucking limey won't stop shouting in my ear. Oh wow! I'm gonna stab a Tim Burden to death. Tim Burden. Until I can taste Sweeney toddler tears. <laughs> and Patrick Bateman, I take it you'll understand. If I keep my gloves on when I'm shaking your hand, okay. You reek of disease and live in people's feces, and yet you're the biggest shit that I've seen on Fleet Street. Mm. Cut your own hair. I can tell. Michael Jackson's Thriller Monster is alive and well. <laughs> Innocent to spend half your life in jail. I'm not behind a cell. Cause I got bail. Mm. your life you severed and carved. Cause you're a terrible barber. Till death do us part. Uh. Stupid fucking bastard. You didn't get very far. Now, let's hear Paul Allen's bars. Oh, Paul Allen? Oh, I had him for dinner in London. Oh, I mean, I had dinner with him. Ha <laughs> <in London laughs> Miss Now, love, don't fret or wine. Why don't you get inside? Sweeney, he set aside a chair and get a knife. Let's let him die. Mm. Is it a right sweet and sigma sauce onto the menu sign? So when I make a wolf of Wall Street a shepherd's pie. Ooh. I can't put this guy's heart into my tarts because I might bark. Quite bizarre, this businessman doesn't fit on a pie chart. Oh, you hate women and the homeless. We're the same. Because I love that loony Lucy who's going to take my tarts away. Mm. You knew my wife lived. There's only you to blame. Next to Patrick, your second year to be reduced to flames. Oh no. There's a Bruce Wayne. Tell your lawyer you're defeated, brother. I hope your second birth features you as much as your sequel does. I'm not for really <laughs> how I have them beat her with me, kid. Now the oven is the only plate that you'll be fitting in. Damn. Oh my god. A musical that's set in the 19th century. It even features themes of class struggle and poverty. How profoundly unique. And look at that subtle all white cast. Not that love it's love, the chief forced on you. Kept your feelings more reserved than Dorcia. And now your lady's deceased, and she's fighting for disease. Watch me show a barber's wife a better facial routine. Damn. Take out your blades, that's a Stacy who's greater. Either way, you'll end up with your fucking face in those papers. There's an idea, Sweeney Todd, but he's a bark and a bite. Just a husk of a frog who lost his show, wife, and life. Damn. Now I've got to return some videotapes. Oh shit. <laughs> oh wow. No way. Okay, hold on. All right, all right, all right. So let, let's 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 clarify a couple things here, guys. So you are more than welcome to understand. Patrick Bateman is the narrator. But he plays the narrator in the 1991 uh, movie American Psycho which of course is uh redone in the year 2000 by christian bale so that's where the whole bale line kicked in but that was that was pretty dark and very hectic and then of course sweeney todd is self-explanatory if you don't know who sweeney todd is definitely check that out that's one of i want to say that's one of johnny depp's more memorable uh performances from uh tim burton movies but it, either way it was just an amazing uh, rap battle put together by uh, by Fresh Canal, obviously, but man, I had I gotta wrap my head around this because everybody did an amazing job on this. Like honestly, yo, honestly, I think Sweeney Todd had some amazing some amazing bars, and the references that he threw in were spot on as well. The Diary of a Whippy Kid line that had me rolling. Uh, what was it? Damn. 
he said i hope your second verse features you as much as your sequel does that was that was hard that was a hard line right there uh i think that oh my god this was very very well put together like i i had to go i have to go back and look at a couple things but this was really good i think bateman's second verse was literally just out of nowhere fire like seriously but you got to give credit to you know you got to give credit to what is it to miss love it obviously but you know obviously that the the, the rap battle is not about her it's about the main two now everybody would get on my ass if i said that miss love had the best lines she had some great lines don't get me wrong but it's all between them two the fact that sweeney todd did such an amazing job with trying to hit him below the belt at the first verse and then the second verse he came in and did the same thing so sweeney todd definitely had the first verse second verse down pat patrick on the other hand he started in a little bit tried to narrate the first verse but the second verse he came in and really showed everybody why the movie was called american psycho so if i had to pick a winner for this it's close it's very close but i have to give it i think ah oh geez i would have to give it to sweeney todd a little bit like i would have to go that route i'm sure patrick bateman would definitely have of a fighting chance in this but i think sweeney todd just took it uh from the very jump and like i said he uh, bateman did some good things the christian bill line was spot on dope i loved it but i think sweeney todd took this one that's my opinion but what do you think who do you think won this guys sweeney todd or patrick bateman hit the comment section below tell me what you guys thought and we'll definitely discuss it we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are almost there so if you guys like everything i bring to the table please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already get a video a thumbs up click that notification bell so you guys know what every episode is heading your way be sure to share the video with everybody outside of youtube so they know exactly what they are missing out on on this channel along with previous episodes and from seasons back as well and of course expect the unexpected Till next time, guys, I'm your humble host, Anton Corinna Mosley. Naturally, thank you for tuning in to this wild and crazy episode of Crim Reacts. Holla at your boy. I am out. Peace. Good job, Freshie. Damn.